Hi there, this is Wenjie, Deborah at GrabTime. As illustrated in previous video demos, GrabTime DB can act as a cost-effective and fast alternative to InfluxDB and also used as an output destination of Telegraph. In the broader observability ecosystem, GrabTime DB can also integrate smoothly with many popular tools and protocols and one of these is Prometheus. GrabTimeDB implements APIs for both Prometheus Remote Read and Remote Write, so it's a perfect fit for Prometheus long-term storage backend. Meanwhile, GrabTimeDB also supports PromQL as its query interface, so it can be used as a drop-in replacement to Prometheus. In this demo, I will showcase how to run the famous Nordic border integration with GrabTimeDB as its long-term storage backend. Okay, let's get started. All the demo instructions and source code can be found on GitHub demo scene repo here. Here's where we saw all the open source demo and you can follow one of those to get started. So now let's head to Nordic border. Here we are. If you are a Prometheus user, you won't be unfamiliar with Not Exporter. It is a Prometheus exporter for hardware and OS metrics exposed by Linux or Darwin kernels. Now let's follow the instructions to get started. The first step here is to create a Grubton Cloud service and get the connection information. Of course, you can connect directly to GrabTimeDB with the open source version you can download from our website. The quickest way to uh, get started is to just sign up a free account for GrabTime Cloud, which gives you full capability of dashboard and other functions. For now, I will skip this step as it is closely related with Prometheus configuration, which we will do shortly after. So I will start right away from step two, which is download the Node Exporter from a release page and also check if we are getting the system information correctly using the CURL command here. So depending on your device and operating system, you can choose the most suitable package for downloading Node Exporter. Here, as I'm using Macboard, I will just copy this command and open up a terminal to paste it. For this demo, I will open up a new folder called Node Exporter Demo. Okay. Now paste the command. Now it's been downloading. Great, it's done. Those value return shows that Node Exporter has been launched correctly and we can see that data has been written through port 9100, which is what we want. Now you can check if the Node Exporter is operating successfully using the metrics provided by port 9100 here and you can get the current hardware and OS metrics. Open a new tab and just run this URL. Great. Now you can see everything is cool. Node Exporter is collecting system metrics. As shown above, the Node Exporter only exposes an endpoint that you can query the current metrics from your computer. But to scrape these metrics and put to a long-term long storage backend, in our case, the GrabTimeDB service, you have to stop a Prometheus instance. So uh, what we will do next is to create a GrabTime Cloud service and uh, do the Prometheus configuration. So here, um, let's head to the GrabTime Cloud console. If you are new to GrabTime Cloud, you can always sign in from our world website. You can either sign, sign in with your Google or GitHub account, or you can also sign up with your email address. As I already have my account, I will sign in directly. Now we are on the homepage of Grubton Cloud. Hit create new service. 
and let's choose a hobby plan which is completely free with no credit card info needed now i will name the service not export demo you can also generate one randomly hit next step just a few seconds and it's up and running hit connection information Here's where you find all the host, DB name, username, and password information here. Now let's come back to step one. Here we want to export the necessary environment variables. Let's copy those. Replace the host with the information here. And then the DB name. and then username and the last the password know that the password here is a one-time password only for this demo use now all the environment variables have been successfully configured now let's head to step 3 let's download and run a Prometheus instance as not exporter you can go to the release page to download the suitable package based on your device and operating system and i will just use the command here copy and paste it is being downloaded okay great already done note that we are now on the prometheus install directory let's take a look at the current configuration yaml file We can see that this is different from what we want. It doesn't configure the remote storage and port 9100 on the data scrape target. Now it is collecting Prometheus own metrics data. Here, a sample file has been written for your reference. We scrape data at an interval of 15 seconds, and we only scrape data from port 9100, which is the node exporter, then we configure the remote write to send Prometheus data to Grubton Cloud instant for long-term storage and analysis. Okay, let's replace it. Copy this command. Paste it. And let's check again. Great, the original has been replaced and now it's what we want. Now let's launch the Prometheus. In this document, it is also provided the uh, Prometheus launch command, which we can just copy and paste. Okay, so in the launch log data, we can see the URL. Just double check here, which is aligned with your Webtime Cloud service connection information. Okay, now system data is being written continuously to Grubtum Cloud. Let's head to the web dashboard to take a look. Now we are at the web dashboard. You can follow the instruction if you are new users. Here I will just skip the instruction. You can see that um, all the tables and the metadata have already been ingested. If you hit columns here, you can see all the column, the timestamp, the field value and all the tags here. And if you hit information, you will see the TTL and the row count of the, uh, the table. Now I will show you how to quick query the table. Let's find the table we would like to query. Let's query the node file system files. Hit the quick query and a new tab will be opened up. Hit run all. Let's maximize the window. And yeah, you can see the results. The first column is the timestamp. Hit the timestamp and it will change the format. Now it's in the more human readable format. And the second is the field, which shows the grab time value. And the follow columns are different tags. If you are a Prometheus user, you would be very familiar with those. I will not dive deep into that. And if you hit chart, 
you will get a visualized chart of the data and you can group by different tag and you can also change the chart type to like bar and uh, scatter yeah okay of course you can also write in your own sql command as long as it's standard sql command we all support that and you can do your own queries here for example if you like to show table up you can use the command show tables like up and uh, run just run line two yeah you can see the table here the last thing i would like to demo is how to show the not exporter food dashboard in graptime cloud which will give you the same chart as the grafana node exporter dashboard okay let's go to our dashboard again hit workbench on the left bar it also has a quick start guide you can take a look if you are first time user i will just skip the guide here click import dashboard the first one is what we want not exporter full hit import okay successfully now you can see all the chart for your system metrics note that some of the chart has no data in it because some of the information is irrelevant to my device okay you can also change the time period to like last 30 minutes and change the display mode you can always refresh and get the most up-to-date real-time data okay looks cool so that's all for today's demo you can find more product details on our website at graptime.com we encourage you to explore graptime cloud play with all the functions and use it as a Prometheus long-term storage backend you can always find us on other social media accounts such as x linkedin by searching graptime just a reminder graptime db is completely open source and if you are interested just head to github and check it out any PR issue or discussion is welcomed. We highly value all your feedback. Should you encounter any product or technical question, you can join our Slack community. Our core developing team is there for help. Note that our database as a service product, Grubton Cloud, is now open for free with no credit card info required at all. Just give us a try and we are looking forward to your reply. See you next time. Bye.